Well, you may have noticed it's been a little while since I did an update on the air compressor video. By now you will have seen the video of me painting the tank, getting that all nice and prettied up, ready to go. I installed the motor, all the new parts, put the compressor pump on there, and I fired it up, was getting ready to shoot a video of everything running and testing the CFM output so we could compare it to a uh, equivalent one from a local store. And uh, I kicked the compressor off after it had built up a little pressure and noticed a hissing noise and uh, found that somebody had JB welded over a hole in the bottom of the tank. The tank shouldn't be repaired by welding or things like that because once they start getting thin to where they're getting holes in them, the whole bottom of that tank was probably rusted out. And we are going to do an autopsy on that. Uh, in a later video and just kind of inspect, see what happened, uh, cut a hole and stick the camera right up in there because at this point the tank is basically junk. It's scrap metal. What we're going to be doing today is getting the actual compressor ready to be put back on the tank that you saw we painted up in the last video. So to do this I'm going to change the compressor oil and the air filter. Um, I determined that it would probably be best to do that. I'll try and get a good good way here that I can do this without getting oil everywhere. Huh. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? It's uh it's empty. <laughs> well, we'll just keep on going, I guess. We'll change our air filter and uh Put oil in. Huh. Here's our brand new air filter element. This is a Solberg number 14, I believe. So that should just fit right in there. And uh, keep our air clean. With kind of tipping and manhandling this thing a little bit, managed to get some oil out of it. However, it is really nasty thick stuff. I intended to kind of flush the crankcase a little with some acetone just to get any goo out that's in there. And what came out, the acetone sits on top of instead of mixing with and it just looks like it's about 80 weight gear oil. So probably what I'm going to do rather than use this really nice Sinfilm Synthetic Compressor Oil by Royal Purple. Instead of doing that, um, I'm probably going to just put some ATF in here, which I know somebody's probably going to say, Oh, ATF, you're going to ruin the thing. Well, I'm not going to run it like that for long. I'm going to run it like that for maybe 30 minutes or so. Just let the thing run and stir everything up, flush it out, put some cheap compressor oil or something in, run it a bit longer, just to flush it out and get any garbage that's in there out and free up anything that may have gotten gummed up by that really nasty oil. Okay, well now at this point, so that you don't have to hear me moan and complain about how heavy this thing is, I'm going to shut the camera off and set it up on top of the tank. Just in case something goes horribly wrong with this, you'll all know what happened. That was covered up by some uh, JB Weld. I scraped the JB Weld off, hit it with a flap disc and an angle grinder, and uh, 
didn't really notice a lot wrong poked it with a drill bit literally didn't even turn a drill on and it punched a hole through so I drilled around in the vicinity to see how bad it was and there's a hole big enough there you could probably fit a pinky finger through or so um, at that point I decided not to use the tank 